How's that going, everyone? Yeah? All right. One, two, three. All eyes on me. Welcome to our first time ever moving up a sample.
There we go. All right, so again, we are asking everyone to please keep it low so we can hear our students and what they have for you. Define you, don't think that like a B, no, nothing, none of that. And it's okay to ask questions and not understand the topic or a lesson, that's why your teachers are there to support you. Um, and remember to always just be patient, take small steps, don't pressure yourself to do anything or to fit into specific like stereotypes, don't, just don't. Um, and you don't need anyone, anyone else's approval other than your own. If you are happy with what you're doing, keep doing it. And appreciate your teachers and don't be scared to ask questions. And don't care about what other people are doing. Focus on your own success. Do not get involved in the drama. Like enjoy, just, yeah. <laughs> just focus on yourself and your own goals and you know what you're doing. And remember to slow down and breathe whenever you need to. Take it easy, don't be hard on yourself. And don't be scared to reach out if you need help. And be proud of yourself, even with the small accomplishments. Thank you.
she should go and reach out. She's in high school like that. You have to be the one that reaches out when it comes to like grade and stuff and your education. And my last advice is um, to, to like be comfortable with yourself and don't get peer pressure easily. Because like in high school, you know, like people like smoke and stuff. So don't, don't get that, you know, intention to do that because, you know, your friends right are like, oh, that's cool and stuff, you know. So yeah, that's my advice.
like Dr. Wolf just said, for our underclassmen, it is your responsibility to set an example to the new students who are coming, okay? So it is your responsibility to show them the royal way. And before we conclude our assembly, we, Ms. Mizzo and I, would love to offer our own words of encouragement to everyone, including the seniors. So for me, my words of encouragement for everybody is life is going to be full of challenges. Full of them. From the simplest challenges to the biggest challenges you'll ever face. Facing those challenges makes your life a little interesting, right? However, how you overcome those challenges is what makes life meaningful. Those are where the big lessons are. I love that. There's so many challenges that I think about when I was in high school, but I also think when I was um, in college. And I am not embarrassed to say, I am not embarrassed to say that when I was in college, I faced so many challenges. And one of them was not able to pass my math class. I seriously struggled. I struggled so much in passing that class my freshman year in college. And I remember that my teacher, my professor said, you need to withdraw from this class because you're not passing. And I said, I'm not. And I continued with the class. And yes, I left the class crying, called my mom and said, he said that I can't do it. But I proved him wrong. Okay, so do not let anyone define what you can and what you cannot do. But that was actually not my advice, I actually have something else. Um, <laughs> but I will always have the hiccups, and that is fine. My, uh, my high school advisor, who I still talk to, once said, it doesn't matter how you start, it matters where you end. So even though life will bring those challenges, Keep moving forward. Ask for help. Find your own village that will support you no matter what. That's so true. This is Look that up, y'all. Be a goldfish. That concludes our move up assembly. Congratulations, Royal.